Like I had to put together the Donnelly family calendar because we are here, there, and everywhere. Everything about it is an adventure. And as Katie says, it's all for the plot. So I still have kind of bad news. We are delayed two hours. There's a big storm coming through. We finally made it to our hotel. Good morning, everybody. It is, I don't know what, I'm in Austin, Texas, and um, we had a great flight here. And I'm just sitting in bed like, okay, what do I wanna do today? I have about four hours before we show up for lobby time, which means when I have to um, meet in the lobby, my crew, so we can go and make it to the next flight on time. And like, I run into this conundrum every time I travel now and it's like okay do I spend my time do I work out do I go try to find a cool restaurant from diners drives and dives do I edit a video <laughs> or do I go sightseeing and like do something and right now oh gosh I ha again I have like four hours and I just talked to Mike and he's like no I, I think you should work out because that always clears your mind I'm like okay that's good that's probably true. And then he's like, um, and then that it, that'll help you figure it out. Well, I'm like, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So I stand up and then the first thing I do is I go get my computer. <laughs> and now I'm sitting in bed, like going through my videos and my video clips and I'm trying to edit a video and realizing like, heck, when I travel, I just don't know that I'm giving you guys what you want for my travel. Like, I wanna show you everything. I wanna show you on the plane. I wanna show you like where we go. But like, if you look out my hotel right now, it's a parking lot. There's nothing really to see right now in Austin. And I would love to like walk around downtown the streets of Austin. I just didn't wake up early enough. And I'm so sorry, cause I feel like I'm not giving you the content you want. But anyway, so that's Austin. So eventually I promise you when I start getting into my groove, I'm going to be able to like show you the downtowns and all that stuff. I can show you the workout room at the hotel if you want to see that. <laughs> this is my hotel room. I will show you this. Okay, this is from my bed. That's a cool light. I love it. I actually love the design of this room. It's very nice. I like that the bed is against the wall that's across from the window um, and not like on that wall or that wall I think those are the other rooms so instead like the bed is against the bathroom wall which is really nice um so that's the the window that looks out which is a pretty cool window it's just that the view is not great that light is totally the Pixar light and it's giving me um like Disney movie vibes and I think it's really cool I'm waiting for it to like jump boom, 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 across my room and that's the couch I think it pulls out but whatever that's my luggage and over there is a little, there's a refrigerator in there and I put my, that's my little um, food bag and I put my refer, my food in there. A little coffee maker, I'll probably make some coffee, but you guys know I bring my own decaf, so I'll just use it for the hot water to create my own decaf and I bring my own creamer as well, hot, my half and half. And that other light, so this is a really cool room. I do like it and it makes it kind of hard to leave because it's really comfy cozy in here. But I am going to sort of organize my videos and we've done so much stuff behind the scenes to like get ready for Christmas. I'll tell you that in another video, but like I had to put together the Donnelly family calendar because we are here, there, and everywhere for Christmas. And we'll let you know what that's gonna look like. Probably my next video when I get home, I'll let you know. Oh, not my next video, because I'm gonna be in Philadelphia. We're going to Philadelphia today. And um, four, one, two, three, four of my college roommates live in the Philly area. Two, one of them lives downtown Philly. So I'm meeting two of them tomorrow for brunch and I'm so excited. I haven't seen them in forever. So I will get a chance to get out and about in Philadelphia and I'm excited to see the Christmas lights and all that stuff. It'll be during the day, so I'm not sure we'll see many lights, but, um, but I'm very excited. So we're flying a couple legs today. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember where first. I don't remember where we're going first, but I'll let you know. I'll try to film on the plane if I can. So that's it. I'm gonna do a little videoing and then I think I'm gonna go work out and then I'll probably eat and then I'll shower and get ready to fly. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm, I'm totally enjoying um, keeping you up to speed. So I didn't think I was gonna make anything happen today, but I did. As it turns out, I decided to um, get out of bed and go for a workout. So I ran a few miles and then a shower and I looked on the Food Network um, website and found 
couple great restaurants. One that's pretty close to this, it's a food truck called Boteco. So I'm getting ready to go over there. I have, okay, this is the deal. I'm a little bit nervous about it because it's a, right now it's 120, is it 120? I can't see anything. I think, wait, oh, let me watch. Yeah, it's 120. That's not true. It's 2.20 and we're supposed to leave at 3.30. So I have, and it's 15 minutes away. So I just called an Uber. I'm gonna go over there, get my food and come back and probably eat it here. And I, um, everything's all packed upstairs. I'm ready to go. And I think I'm, go I, I, I called ahead to the, the people at Boteco. It's a, again, it's a food truck. And I'm like, hey, I've never eaten before. Like what's the best thing I should eat? And they told me this steak, rice bowl and chicken croquettes. So I'm like, okay, done. So I ordered the steak, rice bowl, and the chicken croquettes, and I'm gonna go over, pick them up, and come back. So apparently I need to go on the Uber and change my thing so I, so that same Uber can bring me back. So let me say goodbye right now so I can try to do that. Okay, I just confirmed the Uber, and I was told that if I want the Uber to wait for me while I get my food and bring me back, I have to add another stop, which is back at the hotel. So I said, take me from the hotel, to the restaurant Boteca, Boteca, and then back to the back to the hotel as a second stop. So hopefully that's gonna work. They're gonna have my food ready for me. I'm gonna get out and pay for it and call it a day. So, um, and I have to do all of that in about 40 minutes. again for the address and it's 16 minutes away from here where we are now so there's no way I'm going to be able to make it so we're going to head back to the hotel I'll probably just eat my salad that I brought and I'll try again in Austin <laughs> now I sort of know a little bit more about what I should be doing I think I'm going to look up the restaurants before I get to the cities I just didn't have a bunch of time yesterday before I got on the plane anyway I'll look them up before I go to the cities when I go to Philadelphia tomorrow though my friend's taking me to a restaurant so I know exactly <laughs> she's gonna meet me in the hotel lobby and we're gonna go so strike one that's my lunch now you know it's funny the life of a flight attendant is sometimes really glamorous fun Sometimes adventurous, always adventurous. Sometimes it doesn't turn out how you thought it would turn out. I have this grandiose idea of coming to Austin and being like, oh my gosh, it's a music city and a food city. So great, I'll do all these things. <laughs> Just life got in the way. But anyway, it is A-OK. -okay. I will definitely come back to Austin at some point and I'll make it to either that food truck or something different. But in the meantime, this isn't so bad. This is my chicken that I have with the Todd's dirt, which is so good. And I made it with 20 minutes to spare. delayed two hours so we're in Austin we're gonna head out to Nashville there's a big storm coming through so we're delayed so the flight attendants were just hanging out on the plane and waiting for the delay to go by and chit-chatting and um, then we connect to Philadelphia so we're gonna be delayed right now 55 minutes into Philadelphia so hopefully we will not um, hopefully we'll make it out tonight which would be good but they were telling me stories about how sometimes um, you know, when you get delayed, what happens? And we could get stuck here. But I mean, as a passenger, you know that as well. But um, as a flight attendant, it turns into a little bit of a different story. So stay tuned to find out what goes on. Um, oh, we got some people walking on the plane now. Not passengers, but um, ops agents. So let's see what's going on. All right, looks like we're gonna board. He gave us eight minutes. Yay. <laughs>
place in an accident where we had to back down the highway the other way. We finally made it to our hotel. And it is, if I, okay, let me tell you what time it is. You ready for this? Is it 1.40 or 2.40? I think it's 1.40 in the morning. So we've been having some really long days and really long nights. But it doesn't bother me. I really don't mind. Everything about it is an adventure. And as Katie says, it's all for the plot. So here we are. I got a, when we checked in, they, the restaurant was closed, so they left us food. So we have turkey and cheese sandwiches. This is Vicky's jalapeno chips. Chocolate chip cookies. So I'm gonna devour this because I'm starving. And, um, cause you know my food fiasco today. But anyway, and um, call it a night. So thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to explore Philadelphia tomorrow. I don't know if I told you this or not, but I'm meeting two of my col or my high my college friends, two of my best friends from college, for brunch tomorrow. And um, so stay tuned. I'll see you then.